We're about to talk about another relationship here at work. All right, first That's up right. this morning, they are friends here at work, but when they get home and they get the lawnmower going, it is war. Today, we try to settle the score between news anchor Vince Vetrano and sports anchor Lance Allen over who has the best looking yard. That's right, and they both join us live today to talk mowing, fertilizer, and throwing some shade. Good morning, guys. Uh, hello, ladies. I'm still <laughs> trying to figure out who's 50. What? <laughs> Thanks, Vinny. I think that was a compliment. It's Tim. It is. <laughs> and yeah. I'm still not on yeah. the gold couch or the yellow couch or whatever it is. What do I have to do to get an invite to be next to Molly? <laughs> not even Vince gets on the gold couch. <laughs> End the pandemic and you can join us. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. That's right. We get that cleared up and you're here, Lance. Um, so I find yep. this fascinating. It's on social media. You guys duke it out. Um, tell us a little bit about how, uh, I'll start with you, Vinny, since you're in the studio with me. How far back does this go? Uh, we're in Lawn Wars season three. Um, <laughs> and, and you asked how this started. I mean, may, that's a question better directed to Lance since I didn't start anything. I was attacked. Uh, unprovoked, uh, just minding my own business, doing Wrong. my lawn, doing my thing. If I, if I had my way, you know, everybody would have a wonderful lawn. And then all of a sudden, mm. I, I open up Twitter one day, and I'm getting blown up by Lance, and all sorts of challenges and offenses made in my direction. So I don't start anything, but if you back me into a corner, I'll fight my way out, Molly. There you go. All right, V-Bone, what you got, Lance? So yeah, here's, what do you think? here's the rebuttal segment. All I see is this pristine lawn, how great it is. He's better than all of his neighbors. His neighbor's lawns, they're sending me pictures. They look like the Sahara Desert because all this water is being like siphoned into his <laughs> lawn to make it look green and lush. And I'm like, you know what? I, 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 gotta, I gotta tease this guy a little bit. I gotta say, what, what's going on here? So he put this stuff out there and somebody just had to like come at him just a little bit. And you know, it's like, it's like a good reporter. You fact check, you look at stuff, you question stuff. The other day he had some photo where he had a couple of US Postal Service trucks, two of them in fact, at the end of his lawn and people are asking me like is he bringing in chemicals uh is he, there it is right there you look look at that yeah. now you know you people tell me right there what is he doing is that the u.s postal service lick a stamp mail it in performance of the week what is this uh-huh yeah. i don't know Listen, the federal government know. is so interested in what's happening here on my property they and look at and look at look at the neighbors' lawns right there. I mean, literally, there's like cracks, there's dirt. I mean, it's don't go compete. chasing waterfalls. You, did we learn anything from TLC? Come on. It's true. How do you get that crisscross pattern with the borders? I mean, is this just pure OCD or is there talent involved? Well, first of all, and Lance will attest to this. I mean, you have to have a good base, so you have to start with. I mean, you have to have a a, a healthy and, and and lush lawn. But the product that, that both Lance and I use is actually invented locally by a guy in Waukesha. It's called the Lawn Striper. It's now the Toro Lawn Striping System. And it's an attachment for your walk behind mower that rolls the grass in those patterns. A lot of people think it's like different heights or whatever. How you yeah. get those patterns like they do at the ballpark or, or whatever is it's a roller. So the lighter part there, the roller has rolled the grass so it's facing away from us. So the light reflects off of it. And the darker patterns hmm. are where the roller has rolled toward us, so the light catches inside it. No way. Yes. I, I have way. to tell you guys. Way. I am shocked that, first of all, that you're this in your, your lawns. I think it looks fantastic. I had no idea there was something like that. When are you going to show Lance's weed patch? Go ahead. Yeah, grass, yeah, okay. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> it's beautiful. I mean, hey, bigger. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. Bigger is better. There's Look at the that surface harvest. area. Oh, yeah. Look at that surface area. Vinny's area is like a postage stamp. Maybe that's why U.S. Postal Service is there. Look at that. <laughs> this thing is huge. I got like way more surface area, and I got my yeah. little striper out there. I'll admit, the first year I didn't have my little striper like Vinny has, you know, and all that stuff. And I get the striper out there, and now people are like, "Look at that thing. It's lush. It's..." And I let kids walk on my lawn. Vinny is the ultimate oh. do not get off my lawn guy. Yeah. I mean, this is the, the people's lawn. The, you can come over. We've had volleyball courts. I've I've carved volleyball courts, football courts, soccer <laughs> stuff into my lawn. Scotch. Yeah, you can come on over anytime. But no, Vince is right that there's a lot of great products. Whether it's the the striper that was that was made locally, Malorganite. We're big. We're big. Both big fans of Malorganite, which is a local company as well. Yeah, we it's, all it's, do. It's it's all good stuff. <laughs> 
I think it's incredible. Do you guys enjoy mowing the lawn? And do you wear your shirts when you mow the lawn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not that guy. I love mowing the lawn. Uh, it's not like I, I don't dress up for it. I mean, I do, I do have clothes <laughs> that aren't a suit, but uh, you know, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm proud of my outfits when I mow the lawn, but I'm not shirtless guy. And I don't do you think wear Lance black socks and sandals? No, I have like old Crocs running shoes. I, yeah. I kid you. I kid you not. This is how like picky I am about it. Is I my old running shoes? I will use them the next year to mow the lawn and then throw them Same. out just to kind of recycle. And the other thing is, true admission. I have been in. I've come running home, and you only got about an hour of daylight. And I've been in like a Channel Four shirt. I have literally mowed my lawn with a Channel 4 shirt and my dress pants rolled up. I'm that guy to get it done before the light goes You just want to get recognized. Yes. That's adorable. No, 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 no. <laughs> not to get recognized, just to get it done. Yeah. Okay, I have to ask, because I know you both have sons. Vinny, you start, do you let other people mow your yard? Well, well first of all, why would I? Because I enjoy it. Um, <laughs> secondly, uh, when I had uh, my emergency appendectomy, well, I don't know if there's any other kind, but anyway, I had my appendix out and I was <laughs> supposed to be down for the count. So the boy did mow the lawn with my assistance. Uh, that's the only time that's happened. Whoa, and what about you, Lance? Occasionally we've had the twins out there uh, mowing the lawn to teach them the value of hard work. And the other thing I know from experience last year is Vince's neighbors called me and they said, you gotta see this, there were pink flamingos all over his yard. I don't know where they came from. Yeah. And Vince's son was just overjoyed that his dad's lawn actually had something in it other than, <laughs> you know, just stripes. Like he actually it. got to dance and walk on the lawn. It was beautiful. They're allowed to play in the back. <laughs> in the back. In the back. Fair two, enough. Two things I got to say. One is, is, are you guys okay with if we leave it to a vote, if we let our viewers decide who has a better yard? Side by side. Yeah, if we, if we put them side by they, side. Yeah, that's a yes. Yeah, that's sure. a yes. Absolutely. You're comfortable with a vote? Okay, and the other thing I have to say is, Lance, when you said the thing about the postage stamp in Vinny's yard, and maybe that's why the postal workers are there, he looked over at me, he's like, yeah, that, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> I, th I think more connects us than, than divides us, Lance. Absolutely, no. Aww. Social media, you know, there's so many people that, it can get really toxic, and I, th I, I'm just glad that people have gotten the joke. If it makes you laugh, if it makes you smile, Vince and I like poking fun at each other. We've known each other 25 years. We worked together uh, yeah. in Green Bay together, it's fun, so you guys. yeah, it's fun. It's That's fun. adorable. Thanks okay. for sharing it with us. And Lance, you got to come in the studio real quick. We're going to do a socially distant picture with you and Vinny. Tiff's not in it; she's not here. I'll but... just pose from here. Yeah, come on over. <laughs> I want I want Tiff to play that guitar. I think she could go all Van Halen on that thing behind her. Oh yeah, like <laughs> I'm better at the piano, air. which is behind me. Play that too. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. That was awesome. All